Macau. The former Portuguese colony that is now part of China, and also home to a racetrack that every November or so keeps social media occupied with a massive crash or six. There was the Audi that smashed into the wall this year, there was Sophia Flush's career-threatening crash a couple of years ago, and the infamous pile-up in the World GT Cup in 2017 that jammed the track better than Marcus Ambrose and Greg Murphy ever could at Bathurst. But despite the crashes, the lack of room and the permanent yellow flag at one section of the track, it attracts racing drivers from all over the world every single year, and the winners over the years are basically a who's who of racing. The 2004 grid was chock full of motorsport household names. Names such as Kazuki Nakajima, Alex Prema, Loic Duval, Robert Kubica, Lucas Degrassi, Nico Rosberg and Lewis Hamilton to name quite literally some. So where is Macau? Well it's here, just to the east of Hong Kong, and somewhere in all of this urban sprawl is a street circuit that is the only street circuit in the world that hosts racing on two and four wheels. Now this is usually the part of the video where I do the now traditional for this series Google Earth Flyover TM, where I take you around the circuit, but with the 3D buildings turned on, the important parts of the circuit are hidden by said buildings, and if I turn them off, it just looks crap because the 2D map doesn't sit well on terrain mesh. But you can see the pit complex at the bottom of this screenshot, and the track basically runs up towards the central district, and then through the western side of the park in the middle of the shot, and then round the eastern side of the reservoir back to the pit complex, if that makes any sense. But this track has one feature that anyone who knows this circuit would have clicked on this video and gone, no, before we've even got to any driving. It's this hairpin. It makes the one at Monaco look like Blanchiment. And while the track does open out to allow drivers to get the car way over to the left to turn in, you can't overtake at all. Not because the corner is too tight, and it is actually too tight to get up the inside, but it's a simple matter of yellow flags. Even if you could overtake up the inside and get the car turned in without killing somebody, the permanent yellow flags would stop you anyway. So even though we've said no before we've even got to the driving portion of this video, let's see how much no it actually is. So we have pretty much established by way of opening remarks that this ain't happening. This is a solid no out of 10. F1 could never go to Macau, but I'm going to show you anyway because it's funny. So I'm in the Formula Hybrid 2021 by RSS. A link to the car will be in the description for you. It is a paid mod. It costs you about, what, three euros or something like that, but it's a very, very good car, very fun to drive. And in terms of setup, I've just put it on the softest tyres, given it maximum rake, put more front downforce on taking some of the rear off and turn the diff down to zero because I need this thing to turn so that's pretty much it I'm not really going to be doing the same sort of stuff that I normally do in this video where I basically just go out on charging and then just gradually turn the wick up and then do one last yellow lap at the end because like I say it ain't getting around this track so I'm just going to go out show you what it's like and uh, I'll probably complete the lap and then if I survive I'll try and do a full time lap with a three point turn or whatever it is I have to do to, to get around the hairpin just to show you. But without saying too much else, let's uh, pull the clutch paddles in, give it some jandle, and away we go. And I probably should have said it's a night time because I think it would have looked nice. Would have been a good night race with all the, the lights coming off the casinos and stuff. Oh, excuse me. Right. Flat out kink here. And that's where Flush had a crash. Slam on the brakes, get it down to third. Turn in. Might have given it a bit too much rate because the car really does want to step out. At the rear on turning. And I get the feeling that downshift protection will be working overtime in this video. The race room does have an official Macau. And you're thinking, why didn't I use that? Simple reason being, there isn't a 2021 spec Formula 1 car, which kind of defeats the purpose of these kinds of videos. So I just had to cut some losses, really. Still a very good track. You get an idea of what the track is like. That's some bottoming out there. I'll show you just how narrow the track is going into the hairpin, which is just here. It's barely wide enough 
for a Formula One car. Oh my god. <laughs> Got to Austin Powers it. Through the hairpin. And there we go. That is why Formula One, the, the real reason Formula One will never go to Macau. And there's your clickbait title. One more corner to go. Let's try and do a full lap at a modicum of pace. Yeah, I've given it too much rake, I think. All right, time lap. Because you give it so much downforce, top speed is a, a, a premium here. But I don't want to die going through that park or whatever the hell it is. Uh, of all the times to get an itchy snozzle. Trying to get as much of an entry as I can. It's like a, a scene from Initial D. I'll probably need inertia drift to get through the hairpin or a handbrake or something. Just being careful with the throttle. Don't want the car to do what it did on the outlap. There we go. Oh, come on, turn in. There you go. And it's on days like today I wish I had VR. <laughs> come on. Ah, oh, I thought I had it then. No! Damn it. <laughs> Give it all the beans to the end. Two minute ten point five. Yep, yeah, F one ain't coming here. <laughs> but then that thing got me thinking. What about older Formula One cars? Could they get through? So there we go, a look at why Formula 1 would never, ever, 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 ever go to Macau. If you thought this video was entertaining, despite the fact that you knew that, yeah, probably was never going to happen anyway, give this video a like and leave some thoughts for other tracks for me to look at in the comment leaving area underneath this video. Now while you're scrolling down, why not subscribe if you haven't already and get the bell on so you never miss out on one of these videos or anything else I do here on this channel. 
And as always, there is a massive thank you to the good folk of Patreon that continue to support the channel at a more personal level. And if you want to join them in giving me a monthly tip, or you just want to help support the channel however, then a link to my Patreon will be down underneath this video in the description, along with a link to the car and the track, and also some vague directions to my social media. So until next time, I've been Aidan Mord. Have a great day wherever you live in the world, and I'll see you all again soon for another video. Goodbye.